Hi, this is Matt Demetrius of Telemus Capital with the week in review for the week ending March 26th of 2021. It was a mixed week on Wall Street as stock indices gyrated up and down. The benchmark S&P 500 index finished the week with a gain of 1.6%, all of which came on a strong update on Friday. The Dow closed higher by 1.4%, that NASDAQ edged lower by six tenths of a percent. Small caps were hit hardest as the Russell 2000 fell nearly 3% for the second week in a row. Nine out of the 11 sectors within the S&P 500 advanced, eight of which rose at least 2%, including real estate, which was up 4.2%. Consumer discretionary and communication services were the lone sectors in the red. There were a number of positive data points on the week. Initial jobless claims fell to 684,000, the lowest level since last March. More states are expanding vaccine eligibility, while Europe's manufacturing data was strong. Lastly, rumors began to swirl that President Biden may propose an infrastructure plan potentially as large as $4 trillion. In the bond market, Treasury yields declined, giving relief to bond prices. The 10-year Treasury fell 7 basis points to conclude the week at a yield of 1.66%. In other markets, the dollar moved higher by 1.1%, while crude oil declined by 1.2%. Gold finished modestly lower. That concludes the week in review for the week ending March 26th of 2021. Thanks. Stay safe. Enjoy your week.